But there is a problem. It's important to acknowledge it exists. And I know we're grieving, but no amount of denial will make the situation any better. People scrambled for cover at an event, a family event in our home when we were happy and at our most vulnerable. And that includes Jackson County Legislator Manny Abarca, who hid for cover with his daughter Camila in the middle of this chaos. Thank you for being here. We're Thanks glad you're both OK. First off, walk us through your experience and what happened. Yeah, the county had sponsored the parade, and so we were uh, three feet away from the main stage. We walked in with the players. We were with the Hunt family, and all of a sudden, to see of people come flooding through, uh, yelling and screaming, gun, police, run, uh, and we were overwhelmed with fear. I picked her up and ran into Pierpont's, and we hid. Yeah, and, and you were wondering, I, I saw some tweets just wondering if it was even okay to get out. Yeah, sadly, I didn't know what was happening, uh, and I was afraid to answer the phone. Uh, and my daughter was calmly saying, look, Daddy, this is a drill. Um, and I just said, be quiet, let's just sit here. What do you tell her? We've had some several conversations about this. Uh, she's still processing herself. Uh, thankfully, um, she, she doesn't truly understand everything here. Um, but the first thing she asked was about us as the victims. Oh my gosh, and, and speaking of, you knew the woman who died, Lisa Lopez Galvin, um, quite quite close to you. You're on a radio show yeah. uh, uh, quite a bit. Uh, how would you like her her memory honored here, and, and how is her family doing? Some of them, were, you say, were hurt, too. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, we can't let the loss of this amazing uh, community champion uh, to go in vain. We must avenge this situation, and as a legislator, it's my responsibility as well as others to, to get something done. You said uh, you were telling me uh, off the air that you, you heard from the family that, that members of her family were there with her at the time. What happened to Correct, them? Correct, yeah, and several were also struck, um, oh. and so uh, it is, and, and these are children, and so... Uh, it is a tragic situation that in the state of Missouri, we're going to have to continue to go through this until the laws are changed and the governor does something about this. Objectively, what happened here is unacceptable, right? We Absolutely. can We can rattle off homicide statistics till we're blue in the face, but it is clear that some sort of change is needed here. What will you do to try and prevent shootings like this from happening again? Immediately, once I knew my family was safe and that we had a, a clear plan to get back to Arrowhead, I reached out to our general counsel at Jackson County and said, I need legislation on my desk by Monday. Uh, and e equally, I reached out to Pierce at City Council, City Council in St. Louis, uh, and local legislators across the state saying we will do something about this if the state will not act. We've seen some pictures and we're obviously we're still working to get information from police, but some of the, the audio that we've heard and some of the pictures we've heard suggest that at least one gun used was like a high powered rifle. Uh, I know that Missouri is uh, lax could be the word that, that you could use, but but not as restrictive. It would be the polite way to say it uh, about uh, guns here. What would you like to see from Jeff City? Yeah, we need to see uh, strict restrictions. I mean, there's common sense gun reform that we can do that's not taking away everyone's guns. Uh, I've been in contact and uh, with several national organizations to help understand these policies and help how to impact them here locally. So I'll be leveraging those resources uh, to, to draft our policies. All right, well, we appreciate your time and, and for you sharing your story and, and our hearts go out to, to Lisa's family and, and to your family for everything that you've had to go through. County Legislator Manny Abarca, thank you very much.